Okay, uh, Columbus Farmer's Market. Here's my pickups uh, for the day. I uh, I didn't get any s insane bargains or anything, but uh, I got some decent stuff. Uh, an N64, basically complete, in fairly good condition. Um, red expansion pack. Uh, came with two controllers. A little dirty, but looks all right. And I press everything. I'm sure it's fine. And I got two AVs, which is good because I needed an AV, and I was going to order. Or, the word I'm looking for is order them off of eBay. But anyway, there's two AVs, uh, so now I don't have to. So I can put a GameCube together that I've been had sitting in my kitchen, just look waiting for me to sell. Um, 64, two controllers, two AVs, um, All Star Baseball 2000, and uh, Perfect Dark. I think this is a five or eight dollar game now, and it's it's in fairly good condition. Um, three very hard to sell um, rumble packs. This one says Hyper Pack Plus. I'll check that out, see if that is, is anything. This is a rumble pack, and this is a, a massive memory card. This I can get at least five for. Uh, here's another rumble pack, and uh, right, rumble pack, yeah, and another memory card. I paid 35 for everything, which I think is a is a fair price. I know I can get at least 50 to 60 for this uh, 64, and uh, that's worth a controller complete. Uh, I can get probably another eight or ten dollars for controller at the very least. Uh, that's probably at least ten dollars in games, and another ten bucks there. So it's kind of a little bit a little bit better than maybe doubling my money. Possibly. I'll just get this out of the way, and I'll show the rest of the stuff I got. I can do this quickly. All right. Um, more what I got for ten dollars. I got these two crash games. Uh, no covers, no cases. But believe it or not, I have a bunch of cases at home. And I think these are like fifteen dollar games now. Uh, crash Team Racing. Yeah, that's right. And Crash, Crash Bash. Yeah, this isn't the right disc. But for 10 bucks, that's fine. I, and it very easy double my money, and I have more cases at home. Looks like that got a little wet. All right. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll just finish up with games, I guess. For $16, that was like 2 bucks a game, 4 bucks for that. I got uh, these games. I actually showed up a little bit too late. Someone had bought probably the more valuable games uh, before I did but they left these and at two bucks a piece uh, I still think that's reasonable uh, anyway this is probably the least valuable of the games that I got um, this is James Butler Douglas uh, boxing this is probably worth three to five and probably not too easy to sell um, but here's a six box six pack and this has Sonic the Hedgehog Golden Axe Streets of Rage Range of Shinobi columns and Super Hang On. These used to be worth ten dollars. I haven't had one of these in like forever, so I imagine it's worth at the very least ten dollars, possibly more now. Arcade Classics. Um, it looks like it has Centipede, Missile Command. Probably those two games. I paid two bucks. Whatever. Oh, uh, and I see Pong. Yeah. Okay. And then I got a Evander Holyfield boxing in the case. I'll give this to my friend because uh, it's in the case. The label's a little beat, but otherwise it's complete. Uh, I got an Aliens 3. I have no clue on the value of this one. Um, and this one is complete. Case and whatever. One thing I passed on today, I, I saw some Atari 5200s. One was Defender, and then um, then there were two other games. But they were five bucks each, and I don't know. I don't know what they're worth. I just I don't want to take a chance on them. And here's a Sonic 2 in the case no instruction manual and uh, then rounding out the sixteen dollars I paid I got this bare bones uh, Sega 2 the buttons seem okay I'm sure it'll work um, I have the parts for at home so that's not a problem and then I'm probably only gonna sell it for like maybe 20 25 bucks at most got three plug-and-plays a friend of mine uh, told me oh you should buy them they sell online so um, I got a spider-man one a SpongeBob one uh, and a Shrek one. They're all uh, kind of tangled together, but the guy told me they worked, 
whether they do or don't, I don't. You know, sell them meat for a buck a piece. So I don't know why he'd go through the trouble of checking to see if they work. If you sell them for a buck, but they usually do work. And I'm going to give it to a friend of mine. You know who you are. You can put it on eBay. I'll probably get those those uh, three Sega games, like I said too. Mostly for a buck a piece, and two I got for like fifty cents each. I just bought some CDs. Um, I'm going to price these at five and sell them four dollars, two for seven, three for ten. Julio Iglesias, Sting, um, Culture Club. A good uh, Van Halen one. Here's a best of Aerosmith, big ones. Damn Yankees. Uh, oh, I missed this. This is a uh, 4X GameCube memory card, aftermarket one. I can get like probably five to eight bucks for that very easily. Finishing up on the CDs, I bought the producers. Um, Nathan Lane, Matthew Braddock version. Uh, In Excess Kick. Uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Greatest Hits, and then I bought two Frank Sinatra's uh, duets and a duets too. And that's everything I got today. I don't think I'm going to get anything else because I'm not walking around or shopping anymore. Um, yeah, so that's it for me today. Okay, I'm ready. These are my dollar items. I wow. got a Coco Joe Lava little pendant dude. Ooh. I got a, the Seven Dwarves That's bracelet. actually kind of nice. I got, this is a museum, a Metropolitan Museum of Art pin. Okay, it's a lion stick pin. And this is an What's amber, like amber chip. This is really nice. Multi-amber chip that. necklace. Dollar. dollar. This was five dollars, but it's and bone. stone and bone. It's just, I liked stone and it. Bone. Yeah, I liked it. Now these three pieces are, she told me boxwood. She tried to tell me they're Natsuki, but Natsuki is usually ivory. Yeah. I don't know if they come in wood. I mean, maybe they're modern Natsuki. But I like know. the carvings. Like this guy has a monkey on his shoulder, sure. you know. They're okay. And I like the beads. I mean, she tried oh, to tell me. Oh, and this one is a whole necklace. Yeah, and she tried to tell me this is ivory, but it's not. It's nah, bone. bone, right? But I got the three pieces for $16. Okay. So I got these cool. for three a piece and this for 10 Not bad. Um, these these five pieces here I got for twenty. Okay, so this I'll start with this. It's just a butterfly with this could be jade or just stone. Yeah, kind of looks like it. This is a carved um, shell, mother of pearl, and silver so bead. Chained. Um, this is just cloisonne beads. I just like the way it looked and yeah, I like the nice. color. And what's this? This is uh, one of those souvenir bracelets from Rome, from okay. Italy. It has all the different. Roman thing. This I like. Has a nice look. And this is just this Asian looking cat yeah, with a stone. Asian. So it's kind of like 50s look. Yes, too. I got all that for 20. Not bad. And then I got these three dollars a piece, and and they're they're made in Hong Kong, so okay. that's like 60s, so 70s, 70s, 70s yeah. yeah. And the same with this. This is a three dollar piece. Best. Okay, that's everything, right? Are you gonna shop yeah. for more? So that was. Are you gonna? This is a back view of my space here at Columbus. Um, I set up today, Thursday. I waited online to get here. You get here about like, uh, what, 5 in the morning or 4.30? We got here at 5. 5.30. 5 oh, we got here at 5.30 in the morning. We got online. Um, there was like four, there was about six rows of cars and we were in line for, um, here's the wife's jewelry. We didn't put up a ton, a ton of stuff today. I just filled the spot. Um, there's some stuff that I put out that's already gone. This is kind of midday, and uh, what I did was I, they provide you with two tables that look like this. Here's what I have left on the tables. I did sell some. There's some art I brought. And here's the other wood table that they provide. I brought this thing. Nobody's even asked. Boy, I got space on my tables. Here's some more stuff. Someone asked me on this, but I haven't, uh, they didn't come back. Everybody liked this lamp, but nobody was going for it price-wise. Uh, and then, so what I did was I put out one, two, three tables, uh, a table for jewelry, and then I put a table in the center. I just put DVDs, and um, uh, I didn't put out CDs or anything. And, uh, yep, that's, that's my space, Columbus. It is really crowded here today, a lot of vendors, a lot of stuff selling. People have tons of choice. It's early, so I still have time to sell.